Hey, good day everyone. It's Rob the Axe Man here from Axe Man's Fishing Adventures and we're out from Martha's Cove. School holidays, first day of the school holidays. Perfect weather, sunshine, no wind. So I've got Riley and Summer out with me today and we're going to be looking for some garfish, maybe some squid, see if there's a salmon around and if we maybe get a little bit of time we might head down a little bit further south towards Rye and Rosebud and see what we can find down there, maybe even a whiting or something like that which would be nice. Yeah. We're trying to get a feed for dinner tonight. So are we ready kids? Yep. Let's go get them. Yep. We've been on the water a good couple of hours now and uh, it's beautiful out here but we've tried all our normal garfish spots, our normal squid spots I'm on. and we haven't got one. So um, it's been a pretty tough day fishing wise but it is a beautiful day considering it is winter time. But we're still out here and we're still having a go. Hoping to pick up a squid here just off uh, just before Mornington. It's Mornington in the background. One was just uh, dangling in the water. Nice. Nice. Finally got something. There you go. It's a good squid. There you go. There's that little little pilchard pattern one. Who touched that? You touch that? It's a good size. It's a nice little squid. Need a lot more of those for a feed tonight. Yep. And that's the pattern that I'm using. That little pilchard two and a half. All right, let's see how we go and get some more. Can you get me the, uh, bring him around this side, get the, uh, on the green one. Yep. Nice. Little fella, get me that. Thanks, sweetheart. Get behind him quickly before he gets away. Oh, yeah. There we go, yeah. little man. How was that one? Yep. That's just on the little green pattern that I usually use Yeah, that's the two and a half. Yep, that's yep, that black Good magic size. one we picked up from the boys at Melbourne Marine. Yep. Doing the damage again. Good size. Nice Good. one. Get him in the bucket. Let's see if we can get a few more. Here we go, fishing. Got silver, silver fish's bait. Floats in the water. Oh my god, that little clip has just screwed me. <laughs> I'll be tangles. There's a garfish. Oh, beauty. The line's over the top of it, summer. That's all right, bring it over the top right, just bring it in. That's what we've been looking for. He's only a little fella, but that's all right, it's a start. The uh, burly and the bread, and the uh, this one here we're using, the pure jetty burly mix. It sort of floats on top and also sinks a little bit, and a little bit of the old fish oil, and just some bread. Rubbed up into. <laughs> Roy's just got his car fish in. <laughs> A little run on here, and a little bubble float. There we go, nice Pick little up. bar. Need to... There he goes, looks like Riley's got one. Yeah. Can hardly see him in the water, can't you? Yeah. Great. There he goes, another <coughs> one. Yep. About four now. Yep. Couple of calamari. Good nice eh? one. Come on, Summer, your turn. Yeah. <laughs> 
goes with her first gar fish for the day. Oh, he's a nice one. Get him in. That's it, grab it. Good girl. Look at me. Well done. <laughs> Ripper. Good stuff. Yep. Pretty much. Very soft. These little silver fish. Too soft. Each time I buy the bigger ones, like I usually use. This time. You on? Oh, she's on. Got another one. Watch your line. Watch your line. Bring it right round, sweetie. Mm, this is the other one. That's a good girl. There you go. You got a couple now. You got one? Yeah, you are. Wander in, sweetie. Yeah, yeah you are. Yeah. Someone's got another one. I think that's 12 now. Yeah. Another eight, and then we'll move. Go try something different. 20 would be nice. We have five each. Yes, yeah, so a high amount. Check it, right? Garfish. I don't think there's any size limit either. Seriously. Yeah. 60, it's a lot. No, 40. <laughs> yeah, 40, but yeah, the 60 would be a lot. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Still in twisters. Oh, he's on two. Oh, good one. There we go. What's that? Thirteen? Yeah, fourteen. No, this is my this is fourteen now. Is it? Yeah. Wow, Come on. Come on. Yeah. This is going. Yeah. 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 Coming in now, getting a few. How many have we got? Like seven. Some bigger ones for a feed. Yeah. Well, we can get a lot. Oh, I'll have to get it out in a minute. 
Another guy. Oh, yeah. Come on. So what I'm using is just about a metre from the float, a couple of split shots. I like to put one down closer to the bottom. Now I've got one of these really small tiny hooks. Jamie down at uh, Melbourne Marine got me onto these rather than using the real small long shanks. You get a really good better hook up rate, but you do tend to get the fish uh, swallowing the bait a bit. So what we're using today is the silverfish. Um, very small. These are the small ones. I generally buy the big ones because you can't get the small ones. But um, they have, I have found them a bit, a bit soft, a bit hard to put on. But basically, just wind it on. Try and put the end of the hook through the head where it's the toughest, or the tail. Just going to take that bit of tail off there, and that's it. A couple of split shots, about a metre. Oh yeah, get a bit of action off a bit of bread out the back, so I'll try and cast. Oh, I've cast a bit too far over that way. <laughs> I'll just try and drag it back slowly. Oh, it's going under. It's under. Oh! Lost. Missed it. Didn't lose it yet. I've got another chance if the bait's still on. This is my right here. Yeah. What are you doing, sweetheart? You getting yours in? That's under, and there we go. It's as easy as that, guys. Not so hard, you're gonna pull it out of its mouth. No, you're on, you're on. on. Don't pull it so hard, so you only gotta stop now. Bring around this way, sweetheart. Good job, it's a good fish. Nice one, get him in. Yeah. Drop your rod down. He's a good size, oh, too. That's a good one. Nice. one, must be a tiny one. Yeah, that's no, really. all right. Normal size, really. Yeah, it's alright, a little garfish. Woofed it down again. That's what we're after. Five Some bigger ones would be nice, but that's a beautiful looking fish. Five's a good feed, eh? Oh, big swirl out the back there, look at that. I think Salmon came up and tried to take a Garfish. Uh oh, someone's sat in here. Something just did a big squirt, unless it was a big gar, but. Um, I'm saying it's a big gar. There's a piece of bread out there I can see. Yeah, I'm saying it's gar. You know, I can't really see my phone on down there, like any turbulence. There's a big swirl on top of the water. We see they're all pulling at it. You see that piece right out the back? Oh, yeah. See that yeah. big piece? They're swirling around that. Cast it out there. They're down there. Where are they? Where is it? See in the water. Yeah, give me your rod. I'll cast it there. Oh. I can see, see I can the swirl? See it. Yeah, I can see it, but I don't think I'll be able to get precise cast on that. Oh, it's perfect. Right next to it. How are you going, sweetie? What are you doing? There's a rag there. Ooh. Here, you're under, you're under. That looked like a good one. Yeah. That was a better fish. Yeah. yeah. That was a better fish. Because it took it right under that big float. 
and you could see a bit of buckle in your rod. You on? Just wind it in and check it yeah, now. I'm on. Oh, you are right. Yeah, it's probably going to be the bendy one. I think it's just like a bit tight. Alright. Very Whoa. good. Very good. Another one, 16. Four yeah. more. Four more to go. Four. Oh, I could, I could get the last hour before dark and four to five. Come on. Told you. Goes under, yep, nice. Ooh. Feels nice. What's this one now? 18. 18, 18 yeah. Hey, <laughs> a couple more, and we'll go try something else. Bring around this side, sweetheart. Good job. It's a good fish. Nice one. Get him in. Yeah. Drop your rod down. He's a good size nice. too. Good one. Nice. Seventeen. Another one. Just doing the death roll. One more to go. <laughs> Nineteen. One more one for more. twenty. Beautiful. That was all loaded up here out of the gas. Beautiful day. Have you marked the spot yet? Got out, like, Show me, mate. Show me that one you just got. Yeah, that's a good one. Right. Having a good day? Yeah, having a really good day. Beautiful out here, just our Mount Eliza. All by ourselves, just uh, we didn't have anything on the marker or anything. No spot here, we just burlied up and got a fair few uh, garfish in there. How are you going, sweetheart? You've got a few too? Yeah. That's good. Beautiful day. Melbourne winter, can't beat it. Summer, have you had fun today, considering you didn't want to go fishing? It looks like you're having fun. I'm on. That was quick. Yep. That was a good one. There's another one. Doing a death roll. One more to go. <laughs> 19. One more one for more. 20. Beautiful. That was all loaded up here out of the gas. Beautiful day. Have you marked the Ripper. spot yet? No, I'll mark it in a minute. There we go, is that number 20? There we go, hey. 20. 20 garfish. 
Good job, boys and girls. What's oh, a cracker song? Thirty-two, so that's a cracker. Nice. There we go. Twenty. It's our best day. Summer. Twenty. Twenty. Garfish. Yeah. That'll be a good feed. Yeah. All right. Chuck him in there. The rest. Make sure he don't jump out. He's dead. Nice bucket full there. <laughs> nice. Perfect day. We'll pack up and we'll go try and find somewhere else to fish for something else now. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Now that we've got a feed for tonight. We have. Done yeah. in the day and while he's just... Maybe you got a flatty or something, have you? Mm, not really. Not really. Oh, it's a flatty. big enough, mate. Get him back. Nah, I'll get him back. A cracking day we've had kids, eh? Hey? Yeah. Ripper day, beautiful. Who'd think yeah, this was long. winter? Sun's out, there's the city right over there. Beautiful. Just off uh, Mount Martha, you've seen the track down there, about 18 metre mark, this was a snapper spot that we had. Just thought we'd just throw something down and see what happens and I've just had a whole pilchard get taken, a reel screamed off. And uh, it dropped it, so anyway, you never know your luck. That's why we're here, just before we head in. Oh, well, he's got something on. Probably flatty, we're just finishing up now. Just the one, it's not big enough. I had no bait on the top one. How does it bite? I had no bait It still will, mate, it takes it because of the flash. On the snapper snatches. Mm. Getting back in. Mm. Oh, you got something on? Yeah. There was a whole pilchard on there, but I don't think it's a snapper or anything. Yeah. Bring it around the sides here. Oh, that's a good flatty. That's a good flatty. Get him in. He's just hooked. Oh, what a ripper. What a ripper he is. Good job. That's a real nice flatty. He's definitely oversized. Take him to add to our fisherman's basket for tonight's dinner. Yeah. Excellent. Good job. Piece of it's all gone, mate. We're done. Hey, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop it. Have your fish kiss. I've had bad, bad, bad memories of that. We've all been spiked by Flatty, sweetie. But all right. You've been that's it. Spiked by the jaw bit. By the jaw bit. The jaw spike, the worst of them all. Okay, so we've had a great day out here today, Melbourne winter time, and uh, we've ended up with 21 garfish, a couple of calamari, a couple of squid, and um, someone just caught a really nice flathead, and we've got another flathead there somewhere as well, so we've got a pretty good feed for tonight. Uh, it's been an awesome day. Riley's still over there trying to catch more fish. He's never had enough, that kid. But anyway, he's got another he's, one. He's got another one. <laughs> I don't think so. He's a little flatty. That's a pretty good one. That's not bad. It's pretty heavy. Just check it. it. Might be size. I don't want to get spiked. Anyway, so that's been our day. Um, it's been awesome. And I don't know when the next video is going to be. Uh, still school holiday, so we might be able to get out for another trip or do something. But... Anyway, until next time, stay safe on the water.